deep in the heart of London, where the dark fog hides the dark creatures that seek to prey on the living. One lone warrior. I'm sorry, but the writers decided against having a narrator, so I'm afraid you're going to have to die now. Wait, no. Right, on to the intro then. We'll get on with it. Get on with it! Things were flying, capes were torn, hell hath no fury like a vampire scorn. Number one rule in this game, never call one by its real name. Wigs were pulled, top hats were crushed, by pointy boots in a rush. And Boris at the bar, orders a bud and says it's just another night at the vampire club. On the 12th of June, this priest was assigned to the village of Cheddar. Then one month later, the first wave of missing person reports came in. The local police were sent to apprehend the suspect. None of them returned. Wait, if none of them return, then how the bloody hell did we get this video? Um, I'm actually not sure. I'm surrounded by idiots. We sent in all our elite police troops. None of them came back. Then we sent our not-so-elite troops. They never came back either. We finally sent out our most inexperienced and unqualified rookie. We're hoping for the best. Hoping for the best? Oh, well, just send Alucard on the job. Anything to keep from continuing a conversation with such a raging incompetent as yourself. Well, that's not very nice. Neither is a swift kick to the ass, you twit. Get on with it. Get on with it. Hello, my dear. Have you come to seek sanctuary from the monsters that lurk in the night? No, not really, father. It's rather inconvenient, to be honest. I've been searching for an evil priest who's been terrorizing this village. Have you seen him? Would he be wearing priest robes like these? Yes. And have evil red eyes like these? Yes. And have pointed ears and fangs like these? Yes. Sorry, haven't seen him. Oh, well, thank you for the help. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> almost got you, didn't I? Oh, yes, almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways... <laughs> Now, to turn you into my vampire bride, to aid in my quest to take over Prince Edward Island! Don't you mean England? Right, what did I say? Well, even though I'm insanely outmatched, I'm going to try and stop you anyway. A bullet to the head should work. You're going to shoot me? That seems a tad harsh. I've only sold my soul to the side of evil and killed dozens of people to fill my legions of undead abominations. I didn't expect a kind of Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. And who the hell are you? I'm the one who's gonna blow you away, you shameless freak. Shameless? Because I'm wearing priest's robes? No, because you're so stereotypical. The pointed ears, slick back hair, thin nose, and dark clothing. You're nothing but a walking, talking cliché. Enough. Shut up. I'm the seductive vampire spiel. Shut up. Bella Lugosi would be rolling in his grave if he wasn't nailed down. Shut up, will you? Shut up! Ghouls, kill that son of a bitch! Well, that was anticlimactic. I thought he'd at least put up some sort of fight. Oh, but it's not over yet. What? But my ghouls filled you with more holes than the plot to insert anime here. Oh, I got better. Anyways. Ah! Hold it right there. I know you shonen action heroes. You'd never attack your enemy when he has a young, pretty hostage. True. But unfortunately for you, this is a seinen anime. Oh dear. I regret everything! Well, this is rather awkward. Ah, oh, I know. How would you like to come with me? So instead of leaving him to turn me into a vampire, you want to turn me into a vampire yourself? My situation doesn't seem to have improved much. But if you're turned into a vampire by me, you get to become a main character. Well, in that case, I guess I don't have anything better to do, except dying. I'm game. What is that? Oh, just a new character to be added to our little group. You sure? She looks rather useless. But she's essential. She needs to fill the two stock enemy roles that every anime needs. You see, there's the femme fatale, that's you, confident, sophisticated, and beautiful. 
Then there's the action girl, that's her, who's bright-spirited, naive, and meant mostly for fan service and comic relief. We can't have one without the other. I suppose you're right. Fine, we'll let her into the show. But if she cuts into any of my screen time, it's a boot up both of your asses. Well, I think that went rather well for our first episode. How about you? Well, let's hope that everyone else thought so too, and subscribe for more. At least they better, or else. <laughs> 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 Voila! In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the vox populi, now vacant, vanished. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone vexation stands vivified, and has vowed to vanquish these venal and virulent vermin, vanguarding vice and vouchsafing the violently vicious and voracious violation of volition. Are you like a crazy person? I'm quite sure they will say so.